Those being ordained are required to sign a formula declaring that they believe the fundamental doctrines expressed in the confession. The note from my minister also said, do not even try to read it all and promise not to be put off for life. I did try to read it through, but ended up just grazing as recommended. And I suspect that e even that may be more than many manage. We fear that the church is not well served by a subordinate standard, which, let's be honest, is taken less than seriously across the church. You will remember when trials for license were conducted by presbyteries. Uh, and I remember mine in the study of the then presbytery clerk who uh, was a minister from Ireland originally, who at the conclusion of it took a small slim volume down from his bookcase and said, can you see what that is? I said, that's a Westminster Confession of Faith. He said, you'll now be able to say we refer to the Westminster Confession of Faith during your trials for license. In recent years, we talk about constrained difference in our church, of holding different uh, streams of theology together in our denomination. Is this the kind of thing that we really want to tackle at the moment and cause further division? You would inevitably have to come up with some form of new confession. We would spend years disagreeing about that and falling out about that. With all the divisions and struggles that we faced in past years, and I'm still here, I'm not sure if I would remain here if the Westminster Confession was to go. Is it not shameful that many of us would stand and affirm such a thing without even having read it and tried to understand it? And if we all affirmed it, why do we now wish to throw it away? And then when it comes to what we believe, we all laugh because we never believed it anyway. Now, my problem is this, is I do believe it, that what is written within the Westminster Confession of Faith has got nothing to do with burning witches, but has got everything to do with the glory of God as revealed in Scripture. And as you read the Westminster Confession of Faith, as you go through it line by line, stanza by stanza, chapter by chapter, each time it refers to Scripture. Each time it shows us why such conclusions are drawn. And it does take effort, it does take work, but good things usually do. Deliverance One, those who are for Deliverance One, would you please stand where you are? Thank you, be seated. Those against. Thank you, it's carried. <clears throat> 